And these were my shoes after being in Kikomba from 10 a.m. Today is the 7th of December and I'm reporting live from my living room where I'm gonna throw you clothes that I thrifted in Kigomba. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Another thrift haul. I know you guys love the thrift hauls and I love the thrift hauls too. And to be honest, I may or may not have left Kigomba at 7 p.m. I can't confirm that. I can't confirm. I'm just, it's just speculation, you know, speculation. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got, but also I'll show you other cute things I'm actually planning to go bald. Bald? No, blonde. Wait, I feel short. There it is. Reporting live from my living room, I am Anita Yumisi, and welcome to my channel. So, in case this hair does come out well, I've never heard of this hair before, but it's called Lush, and this is the color ivory. I think it'll look cool, right? I've always been so scared to go blonde or like really bright colors. I always thought, no, that doesn't work for um, people with my skin tone. But you know what? It is. It's almost my birthday in a few days and I'm, I'm not really feeling so much psyched for my birthday but I'm like, I just want to have different hair so I'm going blonde. And for some reason, I also got wings because they were selling wings close to where I was. So I'm going to try these wings on. Oh, it has a little cute butterfly at the back. <sighs> I hope this elastic is like adult size elastic but I'm going to try them on. I don't think I ever, did I have wings as a child? I'm not sure but adult me in my old age i was like i want a pair of wings because i'm like i want to, i like I like i like fairies and i like cores and i just like things that make me happy like little things that bring me joy and of course maybe perhaps i'm not gonna like walk around in the street with a pair of wings people be like what's going on there but if i could wear my wings at home and just be happy why not i'm not this oh <gasps> Okay, I was I was actually gonna I was thinking I'm gonna make I was gonna make the wings bigger like I was gonna just use this as a shape so I can make the wings bigger with like a pair of stockings or something but like even this is not bad and the string fits see this is proof that these wings are for an adult and I got these wings where did I get these wings I got these wings on Dubois Street um, I don't know if they gave me a receipt I'm not sure it also comes with like a like a little a little wand okay i just realized i'm not used to having wings i'm like trying to like maneuver around the house and the wings are just like i'm getting stuck on everything so i'm gonna take this off for now but i'm gonna keep the i'm gonna keep the ears i'm keeping the ears the ears are cool the butterfly ears are super cool but yes i really want to modify these and like make them bigger i want like huge black wings i guess i don't know but they're so cute okay i'm keeping these though so let me get the bags one of the bags that I got is this little bag. And I know you're like, what? what is this? And it has like this like uh, plaid, yeah, plaid fabric. It has like this really cute plaid fabric. And I got this for 100 shillings. And I think it's so cute. I guess I just need to cut a few of like the lo loose hanging threads. But yeah, I think this is like a really cute bag to have for Christmas. Like, can you imagine? I'm just like, I just pull out some sparkles from this bag and I'm like This is a lovely It's unbranded, but that's completely fine. Not all bags have to have brands, but I think it's just a beautiful Gray bag. I also got this bag, which I don't know why I got this because it just looks it's just like a drawstring bag But it's blue and I thought it was a very pretty blue Another bag I got which I really really like and I wasn't expecting to like so much is this. It's very simple I know stay with me, but it's a brown tote and it's made of suede It doesn't have any designer, but it's made of suede and I just really like the look of it and the simplicity This is how I look carrying it around dun, dun, dun. Okay, so another bag that I got was this and it has a chain so you could just wear it like this and I think it's just so cute. I know it has rivets and I haven't done rivets in a while but I think after watching Wednesday and I know Wednesday doesn't do rivets, she's very classy, she's a classy goth but I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna get something with rivets, it's a cool party bag. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, you're not ready for this one. 
You're not ready. Are you ready? You're not ready. Okay, let me show you from, should I show you from the inside out? No, I'll show you from the outside. Okay, so we got, and I say we because this is like a joint effort, you know? This is like a joint effort. We got, but I need to stuff her though, okay? She needs, she needs some stuffing, but she's still good. We got this, and you're probably like, what is this? I'll bring it closer for you to see. Also, the craftsmanship, like I can tell this is real because of how, like, this is like heavy. Like, this is like really heavy. But let me bring her closer so you could see her. Yeah, there she is. Celine. Oh, and she matches my nail polish. Cute. Okay, so this is a Celine bag and it's made of suede. Um, and weirdly enough, like this doesn't need any, it doesn't need any cleaning or anything. It just needs, just to, I just need to stuff it so it can be like, pfft, and you know, this line here can disappear, but that's all. And inside, I was so surprised because you never usually find this with like thrifted clothes, but it had this, it had, I've never had a bag that has had this before, but yeah, it had this, it had this little wallet thingy, uh, yeah, also has like the, the Celine stamp, but I mean, I'm not really much much of like a brand person, and I love that the brand for this is very much. It's also down here, but it's very much hidden. It's not like in your face. Okay, so before I dive into the clothes, something that I've been doing, which I wish I wish I'd taken a picture of this, be pre before be hand. <laughs> what was I gonna say? I don't know, but so this is a leather jacket, right? And the problem with sometimes when you buy like thrifted leather jackets is that they come like super crumpled and everything and you just don't know what to do with it. But like, I think it's like a fairly decent leather jacket, right? So what I did was, because sometimes like the clothes, thrifted clothes have like a very, very like strong scent. Um, I was trying to Google why it is that they have like the scent and I think because they put, I think they put some chemicals on it like the spray because of like the long shipping or so and as i googled it and apparently if you mix one one part vinegar three parts water and you spray the stuff it's supposed to get rid of the smell so i've done i've done that and then i just put it in the in the sunlight and yeah it doesn't the smell is not as strong as it was when i first purchased it and something else that i did in order to like sort of straighten out the jacket is that i've been every time i take a shower i hang this up in the shower and the steam i think sort of helps like flatten out the leather i don't know what the science behind it is but like steam helps leather but not like water don't put water in it but just the steam sort of is somehow able to like have the steam on and that irons it out slowly um let me show you another jacket that you've seen me wear before i tried it on in a different in a different video so you can see the difference so her she was very 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 wrinkled like super super wrinkled actually let me wear it and then i'll put a side by side of the previous video of when i tried on this jacket so you can see how wrinkled she was but i didn't try to iron her i just put her in the bathroom so this is what your lady looks like now see look at that she's she's almost very smooth she still needs a bit of time and a bit of love but in no time she's gonna be smooth so i'm gonna buy professional um leather cleaning um like materials and stuff so i can like do all of this oh i'm not gonna sing but all by myself yeah that little cameo you know that was cringe actually i'm gonna mute that part where i was singing <laughs> you're not gonna hear it it was so bad i'm gonna try the next outfit okay there it is but i realized that you need to see this in full so i'm gonna move you even more back okay so this is she look and yeah if it gets too hot too cold you can just droop this over so yeah and this is like a very very warm scarf Okay, another jacket that I got was this, and this is by a Korean brand called XPY, and I really like how white it is and how it's just like bomber jacket style, but like super, and it also feels really, really warm. Oh, if I didn't mention before, I'm doing winter things, so I need to be extra, extra warm, and oh, messes my ears, but yeah, it comes like that, so I'll just be, can I put my hands in here? Yes, I can. So I'll just be, well of course minus the wings, minus the wand, but I'll just be like, yeah, actually maybe I'll have this down here, but 
this is going all the way down. But yeah, and I also got these super cute, I actually need to show you this separately. But it's a really cute jacket, I love it. But I also got this very cute, ooh, look at those. These leather pants, and I got the leather pants for 200 shillings. I got the number of the guy who has leather pants from Kikomba. He has leather pants, but not so many leather pants. He mostly sells jackets, but from time to time, he will have leather pants. So I was like, look at these. And I didn't want to get tight ones because I'm going to be able to like functionally walk. So these don't like go. They're just there. And they're also a bit flared at the bottom. And I think they are so cute. Like I love these. And the thing is, because they're not super tight, I could also wear these in days where it's it's not winter. So yeah, but how cute is this? Actually, I'm loving the all black. All black look, it's cute. Black on black, yes. When is the items, who dat? Okay, uh, another pair of trousers that I got, but I'm just gonna, I really like these leather trousers, so I'm gonna wear them. But I got these, um, they just look like regular mom jeans, right? Super regular mom jeans. So I saw them and I was like, oh, it's just mom jeans, but they're black. And I was like, they're cool. I don't have black mom jeans, or maybe I do. But on the inside, they've got fleece. They've got fleece on the inside. So what that means is that I'll never be cold. You know, every time I saw pants or jeans or clothes in Kikomba that had fleece inside, I was always like, who is wearing those? Why is anybody wearing those? But now I feel like these will be like super warm. So I won't have to like, layer up or wear anything else inside i could just be super comfortable of these black i need not forget my fairy stick but i can do this for the the pants okay uh speaking of black i also i was looking for um i was looking for uh like snow boots but i didn't manage to find any so what I did find was these, but these are just like regular rain boots, so they don't have the warm, the warm like fluffy stuff inside, but like these are super cool rain boots and I can still wear these in Nairobi as well, I think. I always like to buy stuff that I could wear in other situations like these leather pants. I'm loving myself in these pants, so yes. So I got these rain boots and I got these for, um, 400 shillings, but when I walked a little bit more further ahead, I found a guy who had like lots of boots and he was selling his boots, I think for 200 shillings or 300 shillings. Anyway, I saved a pin location of the guy with the boots and it's like close to the main road so you don't have to struggle to find him. But yes, you can get yourself, whew, you can get yourself a pair of boots. Next, I got this beautiful lilac sweater. I think I showed the sweater before, but I didn't try it on because uh, I just wanted to like, like trying on like clean clothes so oh okay my ears are not functioning okay I'm gonna have to take off my ears and I think I just need to steam it just so like all the creases are gone and it can just be like very even but I think it's very cute and I can wear this and tuck this in like this and of course this isn't enough so I can always pop a jacket on top of this and definitely add this jacket this is a toy special i got for 500 shillings i already pinned the gentleman's i think i pinned the location um in my map toy of map map of toy but if not i can add it to it but this is it i think i can wear it with this jacket and i think it looks super cute and pair it with a bag so a purple oh so i can pair it with a purple bag i don't know which bag I, mean, I know it's not the exact same purple but i could always like wear a shade closer what do you think goes this one which is like very fluffy or this one which is very leathery i think i'm not sure anyway let me let me help me decide uh this is not one of those of like oh help me decide and i've already chosen no i still have like three two and a half weeks so help me decide which purple bag right or left and just by the way, in case you don't, if you do buy a sweater and it's synthetic material, I think this is synthetic or something. I don't think this is wool. Uh, it's 100% acrylic. But if you do buy a material that is like this and you're trying to figure out like, how do you iron this? You just get like a silk cloth, dunk it in lots of water and then put the silk cloth on top and then you iron it. I will try to do a demonstration. I don't know if I should do a demonstration of that. I could, I should. I, I hope I get to, if not, um, yeah, just silk cloth, 
or like any soft, soft scarf and then just dip dunk in lots of water and then make sure to iron the top so this doesn't melt but yes this is cool outfit okay this is another jacket that i found and i really like it because it looks oh i haven't worn this properly it looks like corduroy but i don't think it's exactly corduroy i think it's or is it corduroy i think it is corduroy but it's very very warm corduroy so i really like it and it has like this very cute detail here but yes like this how cute is this obviously because of the cold i will definitely have to lock this up and how much was this this was 50 shillings but yes how cute is that like how cute is this like it's a, okay the sleeves are all over the place but it's very i think it's a very cute i think it's a very cute corduroy looking look and it feels pretty warm as well it feels pretty warm with the inside but maybe i could wear it with like something a bit warmer but yeah i think this is a cute cute fit Okay, I love an ugly Christmas sweater and how cute is this? It has a dinosaur on it. I'll definitely tuck this in. How cute is that? I definitely tuck this in and I think I could wear this with like a black leather jacket. So yes, yeah, so I think paired with a leather jacket. Yes, that's it. This is cute. This is really cute with like a leather jacket. I think this is cute. But the leather jacket, I think this is really cute. I could get a tight one, but I think I like the the wings, the baggy wings, and the dinosaur, and it's so cute. I really like it. And I could also add a black beret. So we'll be like cute dinosaur. Leather, leather, who's that? So yeah, I think this is a cute look as well. So I could try this as a look. If you think I should mix this with something else, let me know. I'm very open to suggestions. There was also this hat, which I think is a super cute hat. And it has, a, oh, it's just like a checkered print. It has like a checkered print. And I think just for the cold, it's just like a really cute hat to have, so. And this hat was 50 shillings. Another jacket that I got was this, but this is not very warm. This is very thin material. It feels like more like a raincoaty sort of material, but I think it's still super, super cute. Uh, okay, so this is another sweater that I found, and I think it's super cute, and I like this. Like, this is not usually a color that I would wear, but I just saw it, and I was like, oh, it's like ugly. Why do I keep saying ugly Christmas sweaters? But it's like, it's like a sweater that you wouldn't usually wear. So it's like something that's like super unique. But I love the color of it. I love the pops of color. I think because it's like winter, I want to be colorful. I want to be like, I want to have something that's like happy and something I can wear. I can be like, huh, it's bringing me joy. So yes, I really like this. I think it's super cute. And again, I can wear this with the leather pants. I think I need to go back for more pairs of leather pants. So I'm not wearing the same pants every single day. But yes, this is something else. I think it's super there's no pockets oh, this was designed by a man but yes I think the sweater is super cute and yeah I could wear this with like a leather jacket on top I do not have a green bag but I think I could wear this with a black bag or like any of the colors here because it has like some yellow and some pink and some purple if I do decide which purple bag to take okay is it Okay, maybe I have to carry both, but does this not go so well with this, like these two colors, because they're like completely opposite, don't they just like, there's just something about these two colors together, like this sort of like blends it, but like this, it's like a pop, it's a pop of color. Okay, I also got this uh, white raincoat by Sarah, and I think it's not, it's like a very creamish, whitish color but I think it's so beautiful I just need to iron it okay so there's this it's just a very simple speedo jacket but I like that it can fold oh I can put it all the way up until there and still with it I mean it's not it's not like a fit fit but it's I think because it can fold really small in case it's too cold I can always carry this around with me and also it has like the sleeve section also is like something that I can Tighten so that there's no cold entering. There's no cold entering my body, but I really like it and I like the gray. And I also love that it's pink on the inside. Woo! I'm stuck to my wand. 
Okay, so this is not a top that everybody would agree with, but I really like this. I don't know if I'm just getting inspo by Wednesday Adams, but I really like this top. It was a little bit more shinier before I washed it. I don't know, I hope I didn't ruin it, but I think I think it's super cute and I like that it has like these tassels here and it has this thing covered, but just in case I could also fold this in and then like yeah, but I really like the cool tassels and like the rivets here. I've not, I've never, I don't think I, maybe younger me, 16 year old me was like all about rivets and punk bracelets. But I feel like this is just like bringing, bringing it back like boom boom. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wear the scarves uh, because I did get a few scarves. I'm just going to wear them on top of this. Um, so there's this very cute sheep scarf. I think it's just, I think it's cute. Like something that makes you happy. So sheep, um, little tiny squares on it. I also got this scarf, which has like this very cool um, checked print. So this, I can just let this droop here. Just let this hang here. And the scarves, by the way, I got them. You can get scarves in toy for between 30 shillings to about 100 shillings, depending on the type of scarf. But this, I also got in Kikomba. But yeah, 30 ball print. I like the print that is very like print that's strong and it pops. This was also 30 shillings. Tassel, tassel. So I got this red skirt. I never know what to wear with. I got a size a bit bigger, so if I wanted to tuck something in, I could. But I never know what to wear a, like a red skirt with. But I think it's still super cute either way. And at least it has like space so like if I eat I'm just I'm like yeah but yeah I actually got a size a tad bigger because I was thinking if I want to tuck in a sweater or something that would be possible but I feel I feel like if I think it's too impossible maybe I can take it to a tailor to get it resized but I think it's a very cute very cute leather skirt. actually this could be a look yeah this could be a look so I got this dress, which I think is a very, very cute green, and at the back side of it has like the X's, which I think is super cute. Um, I think this ribbon is meant for the back. I realized that the front ribbon here, I think, is missing a side here, so perhaps I'll just cut this because I don't think it has like that much function except for like aesthetics. So I think I'll just cut this and sew it on here. And yeah, but I think I really like it. It's like a super bubbly, super cute fun dress. So the other dress I found was this, but I feel like it's very, very, very balloon. Oh, it has pockets. It's very balloony. So I don't know in what situation I wear this, but I really like the high collar. I think that is a, am I wearing this backwards? Yes, I'm wearing this backwards. There's a zip at the back, but actually I think even backwards it's super cute like because it just makes it very simple. Okay, so this perhaps with the beret, I think it's giving um, one of the Adams who dead. I really like this. It's I mean it's like it's a fun look. It's definitely a fun, super fun look, and there's like the detail of the lace and it also has pockets which I think is cool and it's fun. Okay, I've just tried to try and like recreate this leather outfit look. So I'm thinking perhaps maybe even pairing it with this jacket, which is a bit tighter. And then this is what we have down below, the net fishnet stockings. And then I'll have this clear back. I think this is a look. What do you think? Or with the weddings, but I don't know if it works so well. Oh, it's not bad with the weddings, actually. It's also not bad with the weddings. Okay, but I need that. I feel like the hat just always adds some sort of pizzazz to the look. Yeah. Okay, so we've come to the end of the video. Ironically, I had like a crazy long day. I don't know where the energy came from. I was just sitting in the Uber and...